before I get Morton's opinion on the selection of this Danish mixed doubles pair. First meeting between them, and that would have to be the case if I'm right that it's the first time that the Danes have played together in international competition. So I think, Morton, it was the Danes who won the toss, did was it? Yes, it was, and they uh, chose to surf. Thank you. As far as I could tell, anyway, yeah. but I'm pretty sure. So perhaps they think that a brand new pair that hasn't been studied by the Indonesian coaches, perhaps that's a, something that can spring a surprise. And here is Praveen Jordan, 28 years of age now, uh, born in uh, Bontang in East Kalimantan on the island of Borneo. He's a tall athlete, 180 plus, and uh, that's about six foot tall. Had a wonderful partnership before playing with his current partner with Debbie Susanto, reached number two in the world ranking. His highest with his current partner, there she is, Milati Diva Octavianti who will turn 27 next month. The highest they've been, as you can see, is their ranking at the moment, a four. Uh, they're enjoying their 36th week in total as world number fours. She was born in Sirang, in West Java. Now, they weren't selected on Monday against Canada, Rivaldi and Mentari were asked to save the day at 2 all against Canada to win 3-2 but they did play as you saw against the European champions Alimov and Davlia Tova. So to the left-hander Matthias Turi, 24 years of age, tall man, that's about six foot four and he and his partner don't have a ranking, which would suggest that I am correct, that this is the first ever time that they've played together. Has a very good men's doubles partnership uh, with Daniel Lungo, former international player for his father, Daniel Lungo's father, Martin Lungo, twice won the All England men's double title. Amelia Lung. Melunds, 21 years of age, from Roskila. That's where the kings and queens are buried. That's right, but I was going to say Carsten Mortensen came from there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's also got a very, very nice uh, Viking ship museum. Yes, they have. Yeah, I They're think I've very, been there. It is really very, very nice. So not only uh, never played a tournament before together, not played in this competition together, as we look at Bert van Horenbeck of Belgium, I am part of this. So Morton, quickly, tell me. What do you think the thought process was to select this mixed doubles pair? Pair have never played international competition before for Denmark. Uh, very quickly, I think Matthias Christiansen is not completely 100% after his um, surgery. Um, his what surgery did he have? Ankle, ankle surgery, I think it is. Okay. And uh, he's After recovered. The Olympics. Yeah, he's recovered. He's okay. Everything is fine. But maybe playing too many matches is not the best thing to do. So he needs a little bit of rest. Then the normal partnership between Mailun and uh, Nicholas Nair. Um, it's been seen too much. Um, they don't have any surprise element, exactly what you're pointing out. So what they're trying to do here is with Matthias is to give that surprise element. That's exactly what they're trying to do. With another left-hander. Yeah. So, Melund, used to playing with a left-hander, swapped for another left-hander. Good thinking. So, Denmark getting this fifth match of the tie underway to all. The winner of this match will have the luxury of the seeding position in the quarter-final knockout stage. Yeah. 
No, oh, that's a good shot from Praveen Jordan. Really nicely played. Crikey, taxi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Amelia was a little bit too quick. The storm there, so good defence from Mayland. That's a wasted challenge, surely. I saw that as halfway towards the blue carpet. Perhaps I've been a little harsh. Let's wait for the instant review system. Yeah, I wasn't far wrong, look. Mm, too long. Nice loose grip. Hook to the ante. He's got to be one of the best smashers in the world, Badminton, Praveen Jordan. Look at that elevation. And that was very, very crisply put down. Yeah. And to add on a little bit on, on Matthias Turi. Then um, he, with his normal partner, Maya Sorov, they, um, at the All England in, in the mixed doubles, they, they lost to Chan Peng Sun and Go Liu Ying, but he was in three games. And th I know that's one of the reasons why they also felt that maybe he would be a good option, that he's growing day by day in, in the training back in Copenhagen. He's actually coming from um, South Jutland, very close to, to Germany and um, he's not really been been in the sort of eye of the coaches and the selectors and so on for years and years and then suddenly he's just popping up as a virtually a club player and has just improved day by day and they think okay give him the chance yeah but i mean in all fairness to him i mean he's been in three international tournament mixed doubles finals with three different partners so yeah. he has got that versatility yes oh goodness he almost tripped over yeah it's okay that's long. Yeah, we'll have to always challenge here from Maylon. No, I think that's going to be a wasted challenge. Yeah, Mind you, I, I'm not sure I've got one right today, have I? Ah, uh, you will get this one right. I support you. <laughs> you will. We've been way off today. We've been off form. <laughs> yeah, we're right on that occasion, so. Successful. One challenge remaining. 
seven, four. Play. Oh, that's a lovely serve. Couldn't capitalise though. Oh my goodness. Twice. <laughs> Got her back from a very difficult situation. But nice follow up by Jordan. I like his awareness here. We have another example of here. Malon wants to a little bit too over eager, making a little bit too many mistakes, too much respect for her opponents. And again, now it's a six point advantage for the former All England champions Jordan and Octavianti at the mid game interval of the opening game. Seven minutes into the match. Nova Woodyanto, the mixed doubles coach from Indonesia, two time former world champion with Miliana Nasia. Turn, I like that. Just guiding in a downward direction, making it almost impossible for Octavianti. Oh dear, that went under the net. Great serve. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, look yeah, yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah. Fantastic shot. A little top spin, cross court block from Praveen Jordan. A little moment of magic. Love it. Oh, that's out. Oh, challenge here from Indonesia. Oh, if they're wrong. We've got no challenges left. Well, I think that was a lot closer than you thought, Morton. Yeah, I think it's close. It's very close. Yeah, it's on the line. Good challenge. Well done. Very right, good challenge. is outclassed at the net at the moment by Octavianti. Good play by Octavianti and then of course completely backed up by Praveen Jordan with his powerful smash. And the Danes are really not having a chance here in the opening game.
Oh, that's a good shot. That's a very nice shot. And Thierry. Out wide of the centre line. Well, that's a pity from a Danish perspective. Oh, yeah, yeah. And how does he generate that, that power? Power with such a short swing. It's amazing. And virtually no follow through, just no. a snap of the wrist, yes. pronation of the forearm. Strong Fabulous. finger power. Yeah. Fabulous. Yep. She reads the game so well, does Octavianti. So often on the third shot, so often in the right place at the right time. And now just two points away from the opening game. Well, this is one of the more traditional mixed doubles pairs than in the Indonesian mixed doubles, where some of the other pairs have a situation where the, the female player is working a lot from the back, but here it's always Jordan from the back and Octavianti at the front. Yeah. It's very traditional. And she's standing very close to the net in order to close it down to make sure she, they will get enough lifts. Yeah. So, after just 13 minutes, it's game point opportunities. Only needed the one. 21-8, yeah. the opening game to Praveen Jordan and Melati Daiva Octavianti. And a lot of work to be done in the Danish camp. Absolutely. Well, that was total dominance by Indonesia in this deciding match of the tie. 17 minutes for the opening game, 21-8. 